Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish, and I'm here reviewing Apple. This just had earnings. Just got back from Fox News on Cavuto's show tonight, and here looking at Apple. So the stock is obviously up. I really would have liked to see this be up more over 180 for an immediate buy tomorrow. It could it could do that. It's a long way away from tomorrow morning's live trading day at 9:30, where we're at right now. We're at 174-ish. We're up around 175. The problem is. Let me just put this over here. And I'll look at the daily chart in a minute, but the problem is that so many of these earnings reports that have shown positive on the gap up and look like they were going to go somewhere fell, fell on the live day. And, you know, there'd be no reason to short this now. It's it's up. It's up tonight. It's capping up. It will gap up tomorrow morning. But where it opens is critical, critical for the stock as far as short-term moves right now and critical for the market as well because remember if this gaps up and falls hard the more it's going to pull the market down tomorrow too and i don't think the market's gapping up enough tonight even with apple reporting as well as it, as, as it as it is this is much better over 180 okay over 175 really would would have preferred over 180 we'll see what this does i mean again tomorrow morning it could open over 175 or 180 so we're just going to look at the chart Previous highs in Apple were over 183, 183.50 was the previous high. So Apple is close, close to the highs, but can it make it up there? Can it do it? The only way that's going to happen is if more buying comes in from the gap up tonight. So the stock's getting bought right now. The buying has to follow through. If that doesn't happen, this won't rally tomorrow. Now, long term, obviously, this is Apple. You see it here in the daily chart. It's good. It's strong. It's it's in an uptrend. Uh, so. I don't know what this does tomorrow morning into the open to say for a trade in this tomorrow until A, I see if it opens, and B, I see how it acts on the open. And I know right now that this is really would be great at 180. That I could tell you. So if tomorrow morning this is a 180, it's long. But that's not where it's at right now. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Uh, Apple could be the one that does it when all of the other ones have kind of failed and flopped. Netflix was the only one that did a decent earnings report you could have bought besides McDonald's, and that's not in this sector, but it was an earnings that had a good report like CMG. So there was CMG, Netflix, and and uh, McDonald's that had good reports that you could have bought. But all in all, this earnings season was a big bust for, for looking to go long, looking to go long as day trades or swing trades to get any follow through and anything, it just wasn't there. It was very unexpected, but this is the times that we're in. So watch Apple tomorrow. It could be wild. I definitely think it's going to be the market. And it's up a lot right now, considering it closed around 169, so it's up. But I would have liked to see more. Could this have done it? Could this do it tomorrow morning up at 180? Sure, sure. This could be up six more points and by the pre-market, absolutely. So watch it and see. It's, it's iffy around 175, though. Didn't quite get up to 180 tonight. It tried. Definitely be careful with this tomorrow unless it pops over 180. So good luck, everyone. We'll see what it does, and I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, if you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, you want to learn my method, how I determine all of this, how I can see what this is going to do based on the gap in the morning and the rating system, you can email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. I teach a class on this usually once a month. Next class is May 19th and 20th. Have a great night, everyone.